Lithium-ion batteries seem to have reached their limit in energy density, facing a surge in demand for higher-performance energy storage. That's why energy density has not improved much. Despite continuous innovation by companies and manufacturers, it still hovers around 250 to 300 watt-hours a kilo. This is also why Elon's not yet been able to create a Tesla EV with a range of 450 to 500 miles. Therefore, a battery with a 720 watt-hour a kilo is a highly sought-after breakthrough for automakers, as it could enable electric vehicles to achieve a range of 1,240 miles. It's also currently getting produced, and it's just waiting for Elon to put in an order. So, why could this type of battery transform Tesla? Welcome to Tesla Car World. 1. What is the battery? To achieve such high energy density, it's clear that conventional lithium-ion batteries are no longer a viable option. Currently, most batteries used in electric vehicles reach around 270 watt-hours a kilo, and even more advanced technologies only hit about 360 watt-hours a kilo. Increasing this to 4 to 500 watt-hours a kilo is a colossal challenge for lithium batteries, and if the EV industry continues relying on them, the average range of EVs will remain limited to around 300 miles, hindering breakthroughs that customers expect. Therefore, a battery technology that hits a density of 720 watt-hours a kilo has to be extraordinary, and indeed it is. It's a solid-state battery from Talent New Energy, a Chinese startup. When it comes to breakthrough batteries, it's clear that Chinese manufacturers are leading the way. While Cattle, a major partner of Tesla, often focuses on improving charging times, Talent New Energy prioritizes exploring batteries with higher energy efficiency. Only with higher energy density batteries can the range of EVs achieve breakthroughs. Currently, solid-state batteries are at the forefront in terms of energy density. If you don't know what a solid-state battery is, here's the simplest explanation. In any battery cell, there are four main components. Your anode, cathode, separator, and electrolyte. While a conventional lithium-ion battery uses a liquid electrolyte between the electrodes, solid-state uses a solid electrolyte, and that makes the battery safer, more durable, and capable of gaining higher energy densities. 2. Huge energy density and range Recognizing the potential for solid-state batteries to lead the industry in the near future, Talon New Industry has announced a completely new solid-state battery with extremely high energy density as the industry continues to search for new battery technologies. Talon has successfully developed the world's first lithium metal solid-state battery prototype for cars with a cell capacity of 120 AH and a practical energy density of 720 watt-hours a kilo. This means that if Tesla uses a solid-state battery with a 100 kilowatt hour pack in an EV like the Model Y, it could achieve a range of approximately 994 miles. However, if a battery technology achieves such a high energy density, it's clear we don't need that big battery pack. Nobody needs an enormous battery like that. It's just not practical. Instead, Tesla's Model Y rear-wheel drive was equipped with a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack using this technology. Its range could reach approximately 500 miles with a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack. Oh my goodness, just thinking about that makes us wonder how Elon possibly overlooked that. So, why does this battery achieve such a high energy density? Due to achieving such enormous energy density, the manufacturer stated in a press release that this battery sets a new industry standard for single cell capacity and the highest energy density for lithium batteries, meaning it could be the highest energy density battery technology in the world. Talon announced that they've made some breakthroughs in several key technologies of solid-state lithium batteries, including ultra-thin and dense composite of solid electrolytes, high-capacity anode and cathode materials, and an integrated solid-state battery molding process. This means they're not just introducing a new battery cell, but are also working towards developing an entire battery system. This new battery uses high-capacity, long-life anode materials, primarily lithium-rich manganese, while the cathode employs a composite material based on lithium metal, which is ultra-wide, ultra-thin, and combines high life cycle stability with strong performance. As Elon predicted, the addition of manganese is opening up a very promising direction for developing high-performance EV batteries. For example, Cattle's M3P phosphate cells with manganese offer 15% higher energy density compared to the LFP cells that Tesla is currently using in the Model 3 Highland. However, the new 720 watt hour a kilo solid state battery offers even more advantages. Talon has improved the movement of charged particles within the anode by creating an efficient ion and electron conduction network. The flexible coating material developed by the company has enhanced the overall performance of the battery, and it's expected to address range issues and concerns associated with traditional lithium batteries. But why do we put 
1,240 miles in the title. Why can this battery produce such an insane range? Of course, we're not exaggerating about this battery technology. Reports and media have confirmed that this solid-state battery can achieve 1,240 miles when compared to a semi-solid-state battery pack. Specifically, the 150 kilowatt hour pack used by Neo Automaker in the Neo ET7 sedan. These are battery cells with a capacity of 360 watt hours a kilo, and the electric vehicle manufacturer claims that this battery pack allows the Neo vehicle to travel over a thousand kilometers on just one charge. So, what if the Neo ET7 uses a solid state battery with nearly twice the energy density of the one it's currently using? This would mean that the battery could potentially enable an electric vehicle to travel around 1240 miles. Now, the important thing here is that this is going to happen. Although Toyota says EVs will never account for more than 30% of global vehicle sales, we got to consider what could happen. It's quite likely that within the next two years, there are going to be lots of vehicles using batteries with new 720 watt hour per kilo energy density or even 800 watt hours because as you know battery technology never stops evolving and continuously is advancing while 1240 miles may seem doubtful now in just five to ten years it could become an expectation rather than a surprise we believe people would love to own an EV that can charge fully in just a few minutes, or a laptop you only have to charge once or twice a week. Or think about a device like a laptop or phone with current battery life but much lighter due to a reduction in battery size. Solid-state battery technology could very well make these expectations a reality. 3. Charging Time now, let's talk about charging time for this battery. Although Talent New Energy hasn't given any details, it's clear that solid-state batteries have advantages that allow for faster charging compared to conventional lithium batteries. Currently, most Tesla EVs can fast charge in 25 to 30 minutes at fast charging stations. But what about solid-state batteries? The biggest strength that makes this type of battery attractive is its potential for faster charging compared to lithium batteries. The solid electrolyte in solid-state batteries has high ion conductivity, which speeds up the movement of lithium ions, thus accelerating the charging process. It can reach up to 80% battery capacity in 15 minutes with less adverse impact on lifespan compared to lithium batteries, although achieving this will depend on various methods and technologies. In the composition of the electrolyte for most solid-state batteries, manufacturers use sulfides and oxides as electrolytes. Among these, the flexibility of sulfides is a key factor in speeding up the charging process. Ions move more easily through sulfides compared to other electrolytes, facilitating faster charging. In the case of oxide electrolytes, they can handle higher voltages, which simply means that more ions can be pushed through the electrolyte. Moreover, some studies show that solid-state batteries can be charged up to five times faster than lithium batteries over their life cycle, enhancing longevity. What's even more noteworthy is this type of battery is likely to support 4C charging rates, as Talent previously developed a semi-solid battery with 4C charging capability. A 4C charge rate is very fast, only about 15 minutes, and Cattle is also leading the way in creating ultra-fast charging LFP batteries. 4. Safety Solid-state batteries have not yet been widely commercialized, so determining whether they're safer in practical applications remains speculative. However, as explained earlier in the concept section, based on the structural properties of the electrolytes, solid-state batteries naturally offer a higher level of safety compared to lithium-ion batteries. The liquid electrolyte in lithium-ion batteries is highly flammable, but since solid states don't have this liquid, they don't face the same fire risk. While fires and explosions in lithium-ion batteries are rare and manufacturers have integrated protective measures and enclosures to prevent them, when they do happen, they are pretty severe and hard to put out, sometimes needing thousands of gallons of water. Many critics of EVs and lithium batteries argue that driving an electric vehicle is like lighting a match, and solid-state batteries could very well change this perception. In essence, there are still many factors that can determine the safety of a battery, such as the higher thermal stability of solid-state batteries compared to traditional lithium. This is because the solid electrolyte in solid states has a higher melting point and is less likely to catch fire, and that makes it safer. In high-temperature environments, traditional lithium is prone to dangerous situations like fires or explosions, which has long been known in the EV industry. Of course, solid states are not entirely free from risks either. Researchers suggest that although solid-state batteries are less affected by thermal runaway due to overcharging or internal short circuits, recent tests have shown that they can catch fire when they're crushed or punctured. 
This means that if an EV with a solid state were to be involved in a major accident and the battery pack was subjected to a strong impact, it could still catch fire as usual. But the risk of this happening is significantly lower compared to many current batteries. The development of EVs that don't catch fire with solid states would be an immense reassurance for drivers, residents, and firefighters. For example, that incident with the Tesla Semi where its 900 kilowatt hour battery pack was damaged and caught on fire for 12 hours needed major efforts from the CAL FIRE team to manage. When lithium batteries do catch fire, it becomes a nightmare. The reality is that many EVs can only be used for a few years, or as people expect cars to last a decade or more, even several decades. We can't guarantee solid-state batteries will achieve this since there have been no long-term tests on EVs using solid-state batteries. However, considering all the advantages we just listed, we think it's sufficient to understand that they're superior and likely to be more durable than lithium-ion batteries. Founded in 2018, Talent New Energy focuses on developing material technology and lithium solid-state batteries. In March 2022, it received an investment from the Chinese real estate development company Country Garden. Talent New Energies develops solid electrolytes and lithium solid-state batteries based on oxide systems and has perfected the technology process for various materials, as well as semi-solid and solid-state batteries. According to one of the company's press releases from last year, the energy density of the first-generation semi-solid battery reached a maximum of 400 watt-hours a kilo, while the second-generation semi-solid battery achieved an energy density ranging from 4 to 500 watt-hours a kilo. Elon continues working closely with Cattle, and Tesla also uses LFP and BYD batteries out of China, so integrating such a promising battery technology into EVs is not out of the question. If this type of battery achieves a favorable price point, we believe it's only a matter of time before it makes its way into Tesla's. Now, moving on to some other news, since the launch of Cybertruck many years ago, we haven't seen a new Tesla vehicle, but in less than a month, the RoboTaxi is set to debut. Leading up to the launch, Tesla is still making many moves with this vehicle. From the outside, it is clear that Tesla is keeping all details about the upcoming RoboTaxi under wraps, with the vehicle expected to be unveiled October 10th. However, the company has hinted that the car will be produced using the latest unboxed generation manufacturing process. Some images in Walter Isaacson's bio of Elon have even revealed that the robo-taxi will be a two-seater, much more compact than Model 3. Initially, Elon planned to unveil robo-taxi on August 8th, but later moved the event to October 10th. According to Elon, the change in date was due to improvements he wanted to be implemented for robo-taxi. Interestingly, Elon hinted that Tesla would showcase a few other products during the event. Also confirmed that the robo-taxi will be produced at Giga Texas factory. As we know, Tesla's robo-taxi will be a fully autonomous vehicle, without a driver, a steering wheel, or pedals. It sounds quite concerning in terms of safety, doesn't it? We also have doubts about this, but while waiting for the robo-taxi or Tesla Cybercab to launch, many leaked images of Tesla's self-driving software training have been captured. According to Tesla Rati, sightings of Tesla engineering vehicles with unique cam setups seem to be increasing amidst the countdown to Elon's highly anticipated robo-taxi rollout October 10th. The vehicles, which are typically Model 3 sedans, feature a camera setup for a car that's definitely neither Model S3XY nor Cybertruck. One of the most recent sightings was shared on Reddit. A guy noted that he's seen more of the Tesla engineering vehicles as of late. In the subreddit Tesla Motors, a member shared some photos of the test vehicles that he saw, one of which was fitted with an instrument rig on its roof. Similar to previous sightings of the training vehicles, the cars that Tesla is using for its tests are re-engineered Model 3s. Clearly, this isn't the first time that Tesla's robo-taxi training vehicles have been spotted in the wild. As early as mid-May, the EV community was abuzz on social media about a re-engineered Model 3 that was fitted with a strange camera setup. A look at the test vehicle's photos suggested that Tesla was a training car that not yet released and likely smaller than a Model 3. This resulted in speculation that Model 3 with strange cameras was actually a robo-taxi training vehicle. But that's not all. How would you feel if robo-taxi could be charged completely automatically via wireless charging. It sounds unbelievable, right? But a new patent for a wireless charging pad filed by Tesla has been revealed ahead of the company's RoboTaxi launch event. It seems that Tesla plans on using wireless charging systems for the RoboTaxi. Although that might seem contentious from certain perspectives, it actually makes sense. If the vehicle requires no human intervention and operates automatically after driving, it will also need to be able to handle its own charging. We mean, it would be pretty logical for this vehicle to be fully automated, including the charging process. 
For example, driving into a garage or other facility with a wireless charging pad on the floor, as long as the vehicle has an induction coil, would eliminate the need for someone to actually plug in the car. Now, Tesla has also toyed with the idea of a robotic charging arm that could automatically plug into the car. Tesla started revealing a wireless charging pad at the beginning of last year during their investor day. And this almost eliminates the need for that robotic charging arm and has ultimately fueled a lot of talk about the automaker and the development of the wireless charging pad. Recently, Tesla also released details for a chance to attend its RoboTaxi event on October 10, 2024. Tesla will be unveiling its highly anticipated RoboTaxi vehicle during the event and sharing more information on the autonomous vehicle's development. Tesla's RoboTaxi event will be happening in Los Angeles. Tesla retail shareholders can sign up and verify their shares for a chance to attend the event. They must register and verify their Tesla stocks, short for TSLA, by September 17, 2024. Above all, beside RoboTaxi CyberCab, Tesla has a long list of ambitious projects. The Tesla van, the Tesla bus, the Model 2, and the semi-truck sleeper version. With such grand visions, it's clear Tesla cannot solely rely on battery technologies like LFP2170 or even 4680. They need something superior. And despite all these years, Tesla has yet to make a breakthrough in electric vehicle range. The Model S can currently travel over 400 miles, but the cost is quite high. Imagine if the Model Y or Model 3 could achieve 400, even 500 miles. Talk about a game changer. A battery technology capable of 1,240 miles not only would elevate Tesla to a new level, but also provide Elon with the opportunity to break the most insane records in electric vehicles, turning his vision into a reality. That is truly promising. What do you think about this battery technology, and what are you looking forward to at the RoboTaxi launch event next month? Thanks for watching our video. If you found the content helpful and want to explore more exciting info about Tesla's EVs, don't forget to hit that like button and share the video. And also make sure you're subscribing to the Tesla Car World, and be sure to turn those notifications on so you never miss out on our latest vids. We appreciate your support and hope to see you in the next video. Take care and God bless.